Hey guys, Ben plays here. Welcome to another episode of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Today I've got a special guest with me again. Hello. I am Golden Knight. Hi. Um. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. All right. Um. Play the reverse song of time. I almost played the normal song of time, which would have been pointless. <laughs> True. Okay, so what's the first thing I've got to do? I've got your notes, but I'd rather hear it from you. Okay. First, we need to get some money and get a big bomb. A big Gorum bomb. Why? A oh, big okay. Bomb. Okay, instead of taking the money out of the bank, I'm just going to go get this silver rupee real quick because it's easy enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm too fast with the bunny hood, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we go. Alright, bomb. Now you need to go to the other side of town and get the keg... keg bomb. Whichever. I always forget what, it, what the exact name is for keg. it. Powder keg. Yes, that. <laughs> Bombs. All right, take off the bunny hood. You need to be around. I'm aware. Now off to Romani Ranch. Yes. Um. So, uh, what should we call it? I keep for some reason pressing down on the D-pad when I mean to play my thing, because um, I'm used to my Ocarina of Time randomizer, where the where the Ocarina is bound to the D-pad. That's funny. I'm like, wait, that's not the Ocarina. So if you see me, like, pausing for a second, and you can't quite tell what I'm doing, um, chances are I might be attempting to, uh, do that. <laughs> Eventually, we'll be getting the Keaton mask, and you can do the Keaton quiz. Ah, uh, yes. Alright, you need to be a Goron, and use the powder keg. Ooh, do, 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 do. Now, this usually takes some time to break, or to uh, explode, so if you want to hurry it up, you can shoot an arrow at I it. I know. It doesn't take that long to blow up. It's not like the it's not like the original. See? It wasn't that long. Okay. I mean uh, it's it been a while. I thought it took a lot long I thought it took a little longer so, than that. Um apparently that's only for the one powder keg that, that Goron gives you, so that for the test. I know that one's a lot longer because it's got an extended uh fuse. Alrighty. Where is the dog uh, race? You've got the Mask of Truth now, correct? Yep. So we can do the dog race real quick. Yes, that's what I'm intending to do. Don't you have to bet the 50 dog rupees? Race. Yes. Uh, the dog race can be finicky when it comes to picking your dog. So, talk to the lady. Mm. What do you want? This is Mama Mama Muyan's doggy racetrack, just like the sign says. If you want to try a dog race, the minimum bet is 10 rupees. Will you still try? And first, go in and grab the doggy. Great, first you need your All mask. Right. Yeah, so you need the, um... Hmm, let's see. Oh, okay, yeah, nope, that's not that a good one. Um, I should do all right. Nah. Nope. Um, they say, like, I'm really feeling it or something. Yeah. No, you're not it. No. Huh. It's funny, because... Hmm. 
this one's iffy, but it could win. Okay. Um. No. Tired? No. 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 Too many dogs. Stayed up too late. Lighter than usual. That's usually your best bet. Okay. Is that doggy fine? If the dog you brought me takes first place, you get triple your bet. Second place gets double. The dog. So you triple your bet, and on top of it, you get a heart piece if you bet more than 50 rupees, right? I think so. <laughs> oh yeah, he's totally gonna win. Or it could be the gold one. Yeah. See, the the races are usually iffy at best. Okay, second place. What do I get for second place? Double the bet? Yeah, you get double the bet. Okay, that's good at least. And that blue one did absolutely awful. Yeah. Yes, I would like to play again. Alright. Um, so it re-randomized, right? Right. Okay, the gold pup for once is not going to do that well, it seems like. You said this one's iffy? I'm gonna try it anyway. Yeah, it's either my feet feel lighter than normal, or I feel unstoppable. I'm gonna lose. Let's see. Wait. You never know. Yeah, you never know. Oh, oh, yes, yes, no. Wait, I can't tell. I couldn't the... tell either. <laughs> well, take me for a hey! walk and call me Spot. You took first place. First place! <laughs> you win triple the amount of your bet. That's 150 rupees. Nice going. You've won over 150 rupees, so I have to give you a bonus prize, too. No, oh, I would not like to play again. Alright. Oh, really? Yeah, like I said, it's either the lighter the feet feel lighter, or they feel unstoppable. Doggy so. race. Ba bow bow, boo 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 doo doo. All right, are you ready to start a really long convoluted? side quest that's kind of required? Yes. What is it? Go talk to Romani. Right now? Okay. Yes. Look. Isn't that your horse? Didn't we already see this before? Hey, who are you? I'm Romani. I was given the same name as the ranch. What's your name? 
Link, that's a nice name, but... How about Grasshopper? That's the name Romani gives you. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're wearing green clothes, and you patter about when you walk, so Grasshopper it is. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Romani was practicing for tonight. tonight. I wonder if that showed up in recording. It probably did. Okay. Um, can you still hear me? Yeah, I can uh, still hear you. Oh, can you shoot. still hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, good. They come at night every year when the carnival approaches. They come riding in a bright, shining ball. A whole lot of them come down. And then they come to the barn. My older sister won't believe me, but Romani must protect the cows. Hey, Grasshopper, I'm recruiting for an assistant right now. You're a boy, won't you try? Great, now that's the spirit, Grasshopper. Okay, then, I'm going straight into my strategy. They'll appear all over the ranch. They'll aim for that barn and approach it slowly, so hit them with arrows so they can't get in. You got that? And you mustn't leave the ranch. Grasshopper, let's practice right away. There are ten ghost-shaped balloons in the ranch, so hurry and burst them all. If you take over two minutes, you're out. So you said, wear the bunny hood? Uh, not for this part, no. Because you'll be riding a pona. You don't have to, but it really don't matter while you're riding a pona. Good luck! You gotta shoot down all of the balloons. You do have infinite arrows, so have at it. Oh, I, I wasn't controlling where opponent was going. Whoops. Yep. Man, I am a sharpshooter. <laughs> yeah, you should get this and pretty good. You'll notice on your mini map that they are marked by white spots. That I did not notice, but thanks for letting me know. Come on. You're doing all right. You still got time. There you go. Okay, you're done. 137.32, that's great. You two work perfectly together. I'll teach Romani's horse calling song, song to you, Grasshopper. Now you two keep... Shouldn't I know this already? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't Link just. Uh, never mind. Dang it. <laughs> I was just continuing the song, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Notice the brooch on uh, Romani. What it's uh, it's Bowser's face. Oh, it's it's a this, neat uh, little Easter egg. It's a Pona song, the song of two who are bound by trust. When your arrow hits these, they burst into nothing, but the real ones will keep popping up. If they get in the barn, we lose. They run away at first light of the sun, so we'll have to keep feeding, fending them off until then. Did you get that? Yes. Operation starts tonight at two. I'll be waiting in the barn. Don't be late. Um, is there anything I so can now, do for... Um... Really, there's not a whole lot you can do until then. Well, I can play the Song of Double Time one time, right? Mm, yes.
this is one thing that I like about the 3DS version is that you can uh, jump Choose, ahead to yeah, specific can, points. Yeah. Ah, boy. But I, I, if I were playing the 3DS version, I'd probably skip to like midnight or like 11 o'clock. Not, not directly to two o'clock. Okay. Yeah, you want to shut off the Song of Inverted Time. Okay, so I don't want that during the minigame either, do I? Right, because then it'll feel like it's taking forever. Okay, um, MM notes. Uh, do something else until 2 a.m. At 2 a.m., don't be late, shoot the aliens. Don't have reverse song of time active during this. Don't ride a pony, wear bunny hood. Okay. So don't ride a pony. Yeah, you don't want to ride a pony. Uh, one thing that you could do, uh, that's really handy, uh, you see the box? Yeah. If you stay in that general area, then you should do pretty good. Uh, the ghosts will pop up on your mini-map, like uh, the balloons did. So uh, you'll know where they're at. Okay. There is a dog that is out barking at the closest one to the barn. So if you pay attention to where the dog is barking, you'll know where the closest one's at. Okay. I'm going to cut a lot of this conversation, too, probably, because, you know, we're just waiting until 2 o'clock. Right. Uh, what other advice could I give you for this? If you need more arrows, there are some in the box, and oh, there are patches of grass. You do not get an unlimited number of arrows for this one, no. Okay, so it uses your normal bow arrow count? Yep. Good to know. So let's grab 50. Let's uh, top off my arrow count real quick. What's it at? It's at 30, but let's top it off to 50. Now I just derp around until 2 a.m. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, later I'm gonna have to get back to my post-commentary for episode 17. Yeah. <laughs> but you generally want to stay where that box was at for the whole thing. Yeah. And just shoot them when they get close. Don't some of them come up from behind, though, like right here? Um, for that one, you want to get it when it's in view of uh, where you're going to be stationed. Okay, the dog will it... go bark at it when it's closed. So you okay, want to keep an eye on your mini-map right as well. Here. Yeah. They have to get, like, really close in order for, uh, in order for them to win. Okay. <sighs> I am still concerned. And you don't get to try again, right? If you fail, you have to try it on another cycle. Right. E yikes. Don't hold me, I'm scared. <laughs> it's simple enough. Or is that video called Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared? I forget what it's called. <sighs> there, there was a creepy video called either Don't Hold Me, I'm Scared, or Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Sure, some... 
and mm. I don't want to see it again. Mm -mm. I don't even know why I referenced it. At about one, uh, one thirty, I think it is. You'll see Romani come out of the house and go to the barn. Okay. So but the if house you, or the barn? that's the house. Okay, and then uh, this is the barn. That's the barn. Okay. If you follow her into the barn, she tells you to go outside and wait. You don't remember this from the 3DS version? Uh, I only played it once. I did 100% it with the help of... Um, I didn't even really use a guide. Well, I used a guide for a couple of the side quests. But mostly I just tried to use the hints from the Bomber's Notebook, which are really good and can help you 100% the game without using yeah, the guide. Yeah, the Bomber's Notebook is a lot better in the 3DS version. Yeah, and you, you can pretty much 100% the game without a guide, You just using the hints from the Bomber's Notebook. I see. Um, also, if you wanted to i tried to avoid using this but if you use the not the gossip stone the uh, sheikah stone the one that gives you hints mm -hmm. there she goes get ready because there they come Here they come. So you want to shoot the one closest? Yeah. Uh, you don't have to shoot him right away because, uh, you know, you have to give him time to actually get over, uh, to actually move. Because they do have a spawn point. Some of them do drop arrows. See, the dog went and he's barking at this one. It's the closest. Yes. Okay, I see. So pay attention to the dog is a really good... And they don't move very fast. Okay. Off to your right. Or left. Oh shit! Shoot! Shoot! That was close. That was really uh, close. Behind shoot. the house. Behind, behind the, the house. house. Okay. Other side of the barn. Ah! <laughs> Frustrating! Where is the dog? Uh, you got one right there. Alright, get that one, and then go to the other side of the barn. It's almost sunrise. Shoot him! And then shoot that one. Hey, you did it! Hey, I did it in one try, thank god. We did it, we won. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thanks to you, the cows are giving thanks too. Here's Romani's thanks. When you drink it, put your hand on your hip and take a big gulp like we do here in the ranch. It's almost time for my sister to get up, so I have to get back to bed. See you later, little hero. Alright, we got a milk bottle. Now, is that our third bottle? Or, yes, it is. Cool. Alright, at sunrise, you want to talk with Cremia in the barn. 
So if you just wait a little bit more. Okay. Uh, you can go in the barn and talk to her. She'll be milking the cows. Jebediah feeds the chickens and Jacob. And I've been milking and plowing <laughs> so long that even Ezekiel thinks that my mind is gone. <laughs> At 4 30 in the morning, Born I'm milking the cows. Day. <laughs> okay, anyway. Alright, go in the barn. And have the conversation with Crimea. Oh my, hello. Romani's going to take our milk to Clock Town, too. You're looking after the place. The cows would be all alone otherwise. Yes, sister. I'm going by wagon into town. Would you like a ride? I'll be leaving about 6 o'clock this evening, so you can join me if you'd like. Um... Uh, is that it? So now you have to join her at 6 o'clock. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you join her at 6 o'clock. Well... Six o'clock, it's, um, there's more waiting. Yeah. <laughs> I can't play Song Actually, of Double Time. Actually, this one you can just play the Song of Double. I can? What do you mean? Because yes, you it can. takes you directly as to long six o'clock. As long as you here. Yeah, you just came out of the barn, so it'll take you to six o'clock, and she'll be right in front of the barn. Okay. Well, let me just... You I'm can't kind of play paranoid it inside the that. barn. I know, I'm paranoid about it. Yeah. I know you're very knowledgeable about this game, so I doubt you're wrong, but if you are wrong, I will not forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> you said this side quest was Oh, okay. Speak. Well, the rest of it's not. Just the first part in order to get Epona. Oh, okay, I can use Epona now? Yeah. As soon as you get the song, you can use Epona. Oh, the okay. rest of the The rest of this is uh, good, though. Oh, good evening. I'm going to town now to deliver milk. Would you like a ride? Okay, this is where you have to... Um, shoot the Gorman brothers, right? And you do you have yep. unlimited arrows? This, you have infinite arrows. You have infinite arrows, so just make sure that they don't break all the bottles. Okay. And, um... I assume if I screw it up, I have to do the whole ghost thing again on another... Yeah. I don't know if you're gonna say what she said in post. Nah, probably not. We'll see. Okay. I might. She's talking about her friend if, and you. If you want to, you can um, record her lines if you think it would. <laughs> no, I'm I kidding. I can if you want. Um, <laughs> we'll see. I might do it in post, or I might ask you to just so that we have a good... Uh, voice for it. What? The road? Boy, get your bow ready. First, Milk Road is blocked by a boulder, and now we have to take this detour through ugly country. You ready, boy? I'm gonna try to get us through here as fast as we can. Uh, yep. Yes, I understand. Here they come!
Ooh, shoot, 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 shoot. No! Broke one. How many did they break? They broke they two. They broke two, so I only have one left. Yeah. Thankfully, you've, all, you've got one. Oh, thank you. So goodness. you made it. Alright, cool. Mr. Barton was happy to get his first delivery in quite a while. Thank you, you were pretty cool. This isn't very big, but accept my thanks. Um, actually, that's very big. You got Romani's mask. <laughs> By doing one good deed, a child becomes an adult. That mask is only given to a limited number of adult customers. It's proof of membership. I now acknowledge you as being an adult. Yeah, but does everyone else? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> um... Is that all you... And that is it for the Romani Ranch side quest. Okay. Um... Mm -hmm. Oh! You're gonna... go over a thousand. Yeah, that's good. I'm a fifth of the... Oh, wait. Wait. Really? A thousand rupees gives you yeah, um, a blue rupee? Milestones. They're milestones. Uh, basically, interest. Uh, once he uh, has too much uh, and you get the last prize, then he doesn't take any more. So once you get 5,000, he doesn't take any more? I think it's 2,000. 2,000? Really? I think it's only 2,000. Huh. Okay. But yeah, um, he won't accept- he won't let you, uh, deposit anymore. <laughs> well, that's kinda sucky. I, I, I wish it would go all the way up to 99999. That's too many nines. Uh, 9999. Yes. Four nines. Well, if you don't want to do all of the graveyard stuff, you could at least do one uh, thing in uh, Ikana Canyon. Now nah, I might keep the big conversation in, which I can do one thing in Icon. Is that the um, stone mask? The stone mask. If you don't want to do the graveyard stuff, at least go get the stone mask. Okay, do I need the captain's hat for that? No. Um, you need a red potion. Oh, which I okay. think you can buy at one of the stores here. Just make sure you got an empty bottle. Yeah, I have an empty uh, bottle. Alright, uh, gotta go at, take... Like, the general uh, store. Do you know and... how much it costs, rupee-wise? I don't remember how much it costs, but I think the general store up here has, uh, has a red potion. If they're open at this time of night. If not, I have to do it on the third day. Maybe it was just a random number I chose. Yeah, okay, they are open. Yes, they have the red potion. And it's 30 rupees, okay. 30. I knew it didn't cost no 80. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to be sure that I had enough rupees, because I wasn't sure what the... I I could have grabbed, like, 50, because I, I didn't know if it was 30 or 40. I could have I oh. really just grabbed 40. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably going to sell the bomb bag at the uh, curiosity shop. Ah, I see. You can actually go listen to their conversation now if you wanted. Okay. As uh, the the owner of the curiosity shop knows that it's stolen goods. One hundred. Don't be such a rupee pincher, you missed her 200. 
Well, why don't I just offer you even less? And you know, this is the bomb shops. So how about if I tell them all about you? Alright, fine, I'll take it, but you're guilty too. Don't be a fool. A seller of stolen goods is just a middleman who's trying to provide his customers with good product. Look, I know nothing. If it comes to me, I'll, I buy it. It's a, I'm a charitable organization that helps people in need. I understand. Then the total is... It's 50 now, so there you go. What? You said 100. Oh, so you don't want me to take it off your hands. Wait, it's a deal. It's a deal. <laughs> Just a little bit of flavor text there for you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Huh. Okay. Fun. Um... Yeah, the curiosity shop. He he might buy stolen goods and sell stolen stuff and, and be totally shady and whatnot, but uh, he's an honest person. Isn't that contradictory? It is. But he's a contradictory person. And the big bird that's outside, that flies around outside that you can... That you can get the the gold rupee from. Mm -hmm. You know that giant bird that you get the gold rupee from. Yeah, the huge rupee. Yeah. That bird belongs to him. Oh, I didn't know that. It's his pet. That I really did so not that, know. All right. Um. If, if that bird steals anything from you, it'll end up in the curiosity shop. You are breaking my brain right now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I feel like uh, this is a. I feel like this is a thing I knew, but like only in like the deep recesses of my mind. So like, <laughs> all right, time to leave and play a Pona song. All right, let's see. I'm sorry if you can see my mouse cursor, by the way. Um, I know my viewers won't be able to, but you might be able to. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, you definitely want to get rid of the bubbles. They will curse you and make it so that you cannot draw your sword. Okay, good to know. Alright, you want to get a good running start so that Zepona can jump the fence. And jump the fence again. Yeah, I missed it. Um, let's see. They keep reappearing, by the way. Oh, they do? Yeah. See oh, the rocks also you over can... on the... Yeah, on the right? Yeah. Anyway, you were about to say? Um, well, yeah, I see the rocks, why? That's where he's at. Um... You can't get up there without this hook, hook shot. shot. I know. Go over to the circle of rocks. The circle of rocks. Oh! That's what you were referring to. Don't tell me that's... I'm shocked. You're the first person who's ever spoken to me. I've been here for many years, waving my arms around and asking for help, but everyone ignores me and passes me by. It's because I'm about as impressive as a stone, right? I'm used to it, though. I might have a request. Can you give me some medicine that would make even an unnoticeable stone like me feel better? Alright. Um, this is where you give him the red potion. Well, I don't want to replace the lens of truth, actually. Ah, that is that it? Because he's been injured. I feel better, I think. Thanks. Oh, here, in gratitude. You got the now stone you have the mask. Stone mask. 
Now let me practice standing out. Okay, so you guys probably didn't see it, but he was invisible until he gave us the stone mask, and now he's completely visible. So. And now I can do whatever. <laughs> Play the Song of Time and save. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna drop any remaining rupees at the bank. Right. I do recommend the graveyard at some point, because that's uh, where you get next your next episode. bottle. You can probably do that in the next episode if you want. Yeah, I just... I was following your notes, and your notes ended at the thing, but I also felt like the episode was too short, so I was asking if there was anything yeah. I could do. Um... No, it's not too Otherwise, short. Otherwise, story progression. And you get the giant's wallet in the seaside uh, spider house. I don't want to do the seaside spider house yet. <laughs> Alright. I can't do it yet, right? It requires hookshot? Yes. And, uh... Forgive me, I've only played the 3DS version once to completion. Uh, where do you get hookshot again? <laughs> In the seaside temple. Okay. Wait, in the temple? Yeah, it's the dungeon but you item. Got it in... No, the dungeon or... item is no, ice arrows. No, 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 my bad, my bad. Uh, you get it in in the pirate fortress. That's yeah. Okay, that's what I was thinking. My bad. My bad. My bad. I had that mixed up. Um, the dungeon items are all the special arrows. That much I remembered. All right. Um, so that'll do it for this episode. We will see you guys, in the, or I will see you guys in the next episode. Golden may or may not be back. We'll see. <laughs> Bye. Maybe. Bye. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. If you like my content and you'd like to support me, have a look at my Patreon page, where you can get rewards like joining my Discord server, requesting my next LP, and even guest commentating an episode. Link is in the description down below.